good day friends today i am going to put the video on classes of fire various methods of classifications into that because we have to understand why the various methods are required first of all we have to classify this one into the different grades to select the correct distinguishing medium and when we talk about the classification this gives the easiness because of the clear classification we will be able to extinguish fire in a lesser time by utilizing the correct fire extinguisher so in one sense it is going to minimize the response time also if we see that the various methods of classification then in this one we have two major methods one is your international organization for standardization that is your iso 3941 and another one is your national fire protection association nfpa 10 so as per the solas guidelines or you can say fss code the two methods are given okay so now we will come to know about these two methods in detail so in this coming slide we will see about the iso standard 3941 that is your international organization for standardization iso standard 3941 so here you can see in this class a fire so this fire involving solid materials solid carbonaceous material organic in nature okay and uh, this combustion will gives the glowing embers so this is your class a fire class b fire fire involving liquid or liquefiable solids and class c fire fire involving gases and class d fire fire involving metals class f fire fire involving cooking oils so in this one one thing is missing that is being completed in your nfpa 10 nfpa 10 also as a another classification so national fire protection association nfpa 10 class a is here again the fire in ordinary combustible materials such as wood cloth paper rubber and many plastics so this is something which is your again solid carbonaceous materials now here in class b there is a difference fire in flammable liquids oil grease tars oil based paints lacquers and flammable gases so in this case the flammable liquids flammable gases both are included and when we talk about class c so this is something which is the much needed one that is your involving energized electrical equipment so we have the energized electrical equipment that is major point of view major concern that was not there in your iso standardizers so this is something which is your electrical fire sort of thing but here it is energized electrical equipment before handling the fire we have to deenergize the extinguishers deenergize energize the equipment and then extinguishers for class a and b may be used class d is something which is your combustible metals such as magnesium titanium zirconium sodium lithium and potassium all flammable metals class k is something which is your cooking grease fat and oil this is something which is the last classification class k next you can see over here fire classes as it is it's given in the pictorial form class a the solid carbonaceous in which it covers the wood cloth paper rubber and other plastics class b is something which is your liquid and gases both you can see the oil category is also over here and flammable gases categories are also shown over here okay so gasoline grease star grease star oil based paints lacquers are also included in class b fire when we talk about class c that is your electrical equipment energized electrical equipment and fire caused due to electricity you can say that also okay and d is your combustible metals sodium magnesium potassium titanium zirconium and other flammable metals and one more class is there that is class k is not included shown in figure but it is something which is your cooking grease fat and oil okay so then next slide we will come to know about the extinguishing medium extinguishing medium recommended for the use on fires okay 
so here you can see that water and water with additives so which can be used on the solid carbonaceous fires okay and including the flammable liquids also that means you have the water as well as foam both dcp categorizes over here the dry chemical the standards class b and c flammable liquids electrical equipment and flammable gases so dcp is best suitable for uh, your you can say that electrical equipment and the flammable gases for electrical equipment uh, i must say that co2 is also one of the best thing and when we talk about the abc so this is including all here it can be used for wood paper textile flammable liquids electrical equipments and flammable gases also included but in case of solid carbonaceous fire you have to use with some other fighting uh, agent so that the chances of reignition will be reduced and here is the specialized dry chemical powder which is used for the metallic fires and wet chemical you know that this is the best suited for class f or class k uh, in any of the classification methods which is shown over here so this includes your cooking grease fats oils and fire of the cleaning agents so that is also shown over here okay so i hope this video is you have understood clearly and this is uh, going to give you a clear picture clear idea of it hope you guys understood this clearly thank you